what's up everybody welcome back this is easy this is the brutal age partner guide today's video is on mr. dagger I'm gonna focus a lot on mr. dagger as the leader and go over the leader skills starting off with blue the leader skill is the, is the critical rate plus 24 critical rate damage we'll get into each one individually in a minute too red his leader skill is 41% resistance and yeah, this is a huge leader skill and this is something that most people don't even realize Green Daggers, his leader skill gives you the 41% hit, which is a rare leader skill. Uh, hit is the ability to land debuffs on the other team. Debuffs are there whenever they have that red symbol above their head, that's a debuff. It takes away their health points, their ability to attack, their ability to defend. Um, some of them just say debuff, which will just lower, uh, you know, lower their health point or lower one of their stats. But others are like silence or poison or... Uh, all of the more mainstream debuffs that you'll see You'll notice that there's you can't just go find a green team to fit around them. you have to kind of explore a little bit You can't go find uh, four other members that have uh, a high hit because I think there might be one or two that actually have hit That's above zero. So everyone's hit starts off at zero So when you give him when, you, when he gives the team a 41% increase in, in hit which means they score the debuffs 41% more which means that they're controlling their opponent 41% more and Control is a big big thing especially when you get up at the at the higher levels uh, A lot of the attacks aren't just power attacks a lot of them are control attacks as well So if you're the one controlling by by landing all the debuffs on them, it's a big advantage that that green can give you Green Dagger's third attack also gets a lot stronger if there's a lot of debuffs on the other team. So you have to make sure you surround Green Daggers with a bunch of other heroes that, that do the debuffs as well. Now his war patterns, all of his war patterns are going to have a few things in common. Left hand speed, um, most of, uh, on his first attack, which is throwing the single dagger, it does more damage the more speed he has. And the reason why they do these more damage for speed or more damage for hit points or more damage for for, uh, for for all of those different things is so you don't have to just focus on attack on every single one of the war patterns on head on in both hands. So it was left hand speed, right hand attack percentage, um, the helmet head hit point percentage, and then for the body left foot right foot and for the second through fourth or fifth attributes you want speed hit point attack and hit so it's a little different than normal you want to try to get hit in there for his uh, in his attributes as well and if you have him as the leader and you know you're going to use him as the leader every time you use him you don't really have to use the hit in his uh, abilities quite as much he's going to be adding 41 percent to it as, as it is so now green also does the most damage to blue so he's really good against all the blue uh, uh, the, the blue teams, which the blue teams also include uh, the blue nomad, which is a huge hero to try to defend against. One of the advantages for for using dagger is that he's an, okay. No five stars are common. We all know that when we're spinning turtles, they take it's it's hard to get five stars. But for the five stars, he's one of the more common five stars that you're going to get. So over time, you'll be able to increase his ability levels. And green is one of the is one of the colors, <laughs> one of the three <laughs> that he gets incredibly strong. His third ability, which is this magic spell where he hits all all the enemies, um, that that's a lethal that's a lethal attack once he gets up to the third or fourth ability on it. All of his attacks, he he's like the assassin of the crew. Uh, all of his attacks are very very high damage attacks. The only issue is. Is that his hit points will always be his his hit points will always put him in danger. So you have to you have to try to build the team around him. Not only uh, as far as green, not only for the debuffing, but to protect him. So try to put a shield partner in there or someone that's going to heal constantly. Now we're going to go into red. We'll speed up a little bit on red because the, the the attacks were a little bit longer. Red is. Probably the least popular or at least the least I see of the three daggers Yet he has the strongest leader ability probably in the game. He has 41% resistance Resistance is a huge huge leader ability 
you again you want to build your team around this you want to build your team you you want all all the members of your team to also have high resistance this can make it to where they can't freeze you they can't put you to sleep they can't silence you they, they, they can't buff they can't debuff you it seems like a minor thing but I really want to stress how important it is uh, resistance is a major major uh, it's, it's more important than even it's probably more important than speed uh, I know that I said I've said that speed is definitely the most uh, sought-after attribute and, and I think it probably is overall but when it comes down to your isolated attacks where you have to attack certain parties that are that you know have uh, for example the the blue black shaman every time he hits you he's going to spin you and there's several there's several teams that are built that every single attacker in the team they restrain you in some way so you can counteract that with blue daggers as the leader in in a, in a resistance uh, party so go again look at all of the abilities and everyone on the team and try to make sure that there are members in your team that have high resistance or that you have resistance in their war patterns for his war pattern you can use cat and hippo they suggest you use all hippo and you can actually use hippo and uh, and whale as well and you can you you can use whale in, in place of two with a hippo and that's if you're struggling to keep up with the hit points on the whole team so that's you know because you get 15 percent hit point on the hippo war pattern you only get eight percent on the whale but you get eight percent throughout the whole team so that, that's one of those uh, you can kind of switch those out for hippo so again huge huge leader skill and resistance for for red daggers getting into blue daggers he's probably the most popular he's um, you can fit him in with the most teams outside of the leader um, He's probably also the hardest one to put in there as the leader because 24% critical rate just isn't an amazing leader skill compared to resistance. Even hit is better than the, the, the critical rate. But there are several partners out there that give you big boosts on, on critical rate. Uh, one of them is the new Smilodon. It automatically gives you a 20% boost on, on critical rate. So your whole team gets 20%. You add that to the 24% that, uh, that Daggers gives you. That puts your other big critical rate attackers like uh, Red Blonde. She's going to be in critical rate probably the entire time she attacks. So all of her attacks will be critical rate. She'll be she'll be knocking over those uh, fifteen to twenty five thousand per hit um, on on the single axe throw, and about four to six thousand on the on the multi whirlwind attack. So uh, again, the teams have to be built around daggers if you're going to have them for the leader. But I, I would strongly suggest that if you have all of the daggers before you feed uh, green to blue or red to blue or, or blue to any of them, um, look at their leader skills and see if you can build a good resistance team around red daggers or see if you can build a good hit team around green daggers. And uh, you might be able to fight some of these high-end battles uh, in rank matches when you go after the other team and instead of going after them with the power the power attackers you go after them with the resistance of a team or, or a hit team it's just another interesting layer that you can put into your game by just understanding exactly how these uh, leader skills work it's something that I'm definitely um, not a, a pro at <laughs> by any means so uh, I'm, I'm discovering a lot of new uh, combinations of, of heroes that I'm able to use. I, I'm sure you will too. So you have to kind of study it up a little bit. You have to go into a lot of the different abilities to see who's restraining who, exactly uh, what they're doing. And that way you can match them up with green or you can match them up uh, with red. Personally, I'm working on trying to build a really good resistance team right now. I think resistance, it's a huge ability because think about how many times that you have been attacked by a strong team and as soon as the first person attacks, which is uh, the, the blue black shaman's a perfect example, he hits you with his attack and all four of your members are spinning. They're, they're both all uh, knocked unconscious. Um, right now, Saya is a huge um, war pattern that a lot of people are using. So, and, and that stuns everyone. So it can combat those, those really big um, debuffs that they do to you. 
So check check out Daggers. He's a superb five star. You, you can build your team around all three colors, which is rare for any, even all the five stars. So I'm out of time. Leave comments down below. I'll try to get back to as many as I can. Suggest videos. I'll try to make them. Thanks for watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.